Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. The Oklahoma Sooners continue to not only be one of the hottest teams on the football field in 2023, but also really getting it done on the recruiting trail, landing another commitment in the 2024 class and forced their linebacker, Michael Boganowski from the state of Kansas. Really interesting prospect that the recruiting services not really totally agreed on, right? You take a look at rivals. They have him as the number 17 linebacker in the entire country, according to the 24-7 Sports Composite, top 500 national player, but only the 39th best linebacker, the number one player in the state of Kansas. But you need to look at the offers. Like, there's a reason this kid had offers from what? Oklahoma, Kansas State, Florida State, Michigan, Tennessee, USC. This is a guy that is kind of the new breed of linebacker that you want at the college football level. Although a little bit smaller right now, you'll know he'll put on that weight. But the athleticism and the instincts and the ability to go sideline to sideline, I think that's what makes Michael Boganowski such a touted prospect out of the high school ranks. Really excited to get into him now. Before we do, just want to say thank you to you guys and especially the Oklahoma fans. Those who've been listening for a while know I love breaking down all the commitments for the Sooners. The amount of support y'all show, it really does mean a lot. I have a blast doing it. Love talking ball with you guys in the comment section. Appreciate y'all rocking with it. Again, if you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And for Oklahoma fans, we're going to be talking about a few other prospects that are on Oklahoma's boards that we could be seeing committing in the next couple of weeks. Really excited to get into it. Michael Boganowski, you take a look at what he's done on Friday nights. Going back to his junior year, played in 10 games, 123 tackles, four interceptions, and a forced fumble. It's a guy that not only has that athleticism, but the instincts. And I think the instincts come from he's played multiple different positions at the high school level. You'll see him line up as a safety, as an off-ball backer. You'll see him blitz off the edge as well. He's a really versatile kind of chess piece in the defense. And Brent Venables in this defensive coaching staff going to bring him in and kind of figure out where he best fits into this defense. But more importantly, like why I think Brent Venables really turned up the heat on Michael Boganowski is he fits what OU's trying to do on the defensive side of the ball in terms of the change of culture that we see in Oklahoma. We've talked about this a lot, right? The the culture and how Oklahoma's playing defense from Lincoln Riley and Alex Grinch to Brent Venables, dramatically different. I mean, this Oklahoma defense under BV, they want to smother teams. They want to fly around the football field, force turnovers, create negative plays. You look back at what they wanted to do with Alex Grinch and Lincoln Riley, hey, we're just going to play passive defense, try to hold teams to three points in the red zone, and try to outscore teams. That's not what Brent Venables wants to do. I think you saw some growing pains last year with that, but you're really starting to turn this. You're really starting to see the defense really kind of turn it up and get comfortable in that kind of culture and system. And I think Michael Boganowski is a real perfect fit in terms of what Brent Venables and this defensive coaching staff want to do. I want to turn on the film a little bit, get a feel for what he brings to the football field. And the first thing you're going to see is just the physicality, right? He's only 205 pounds, but man, does he play above his weight, firing downhill, being a very, very physical tackler. And a guy that, again, you'll see kind of line up all over the place, coming down from that safety blitz or safety spot. You're going to see, I mean, again, a smaller guy, but you talk about block destruction. I mean, absolutely handles that guy, goes and finds the football. He's a guy that's a playmaker, plays extremely aggressive. Here's another piece of film that I really like, right? Coming in late, not only going to make the tackle, he's going to try to make a play as well, find that football, strip it out, recover it himself. This is a guy that he's a playmaker. And again, lines up all over the field on defense, but just makes plays. Again, here you see him coming from that safety spot, firing downhill, being physical at the tackle point. So much to like in what Michael Boganowski brings to the table. Again, seeing him more in that off-ball spot, Sideline to sideline speed. We talked about that, right? Modern college football linebackers, you need to be able to operate in space and have that athleticism. That's what he brings to the table. On the offensive side of the ball, you see that athleticism even more, right? Running away from everybody on the defense. This is a guy that has the instincts, has the athleticism, and I think is a really good get for the Sooners. And I will say this, before we take a look at the 2024 class that's coming together for Oklahoma, the last time Oklahoma went to the state of Kansas and grabbed the linebacker, Jaron Kanick, the number one player in the state of Kansas a couple of recruiting classes ago, that worked out pretty well for the Sooners. 
taking a look at this 2024 class, I mean, it's absolutely loaded. And we said, like, this is, it was more of a slow burn, right? You saw a lot of schools in the summer land all of these commitments. What did Oklahoma do? They kind of sat back, took a ton of talent on campus for official visits. And you're starting to see it come together now. And you look up, top 10 class in the country, number seven overall. Taking a look at what they have, I mean, the defensive side of the ball, absolutely loaded, especially in the trenches. David Stone highlighting the class. But I want to go back down to one of our favorite guys that we covered in the summer. That's Jaden Jackson, another teammate of David Stone's at IMG. We said when we covered him, he was outside of the top 400 nationally when we talked about him. We said this is a guy that is a complete gem of a find. And you kind of knew he was a gem because, I mean, every Power 5 team in the country wanted Jaden Jackson. He's all the way up to a top 200 guy now, and you're seeing the Sooners class, I mean, really start to come together now. The question is, where does Oklahoma go from there? And I think a lot of Sooner fans said, hey, maybe we could bolster, bolster up this offensive line, right? It's not the, it's a solid offensive line class, but you could go grab a couple blue chippers and, and kind of build that depth on the offensive line. And I think that's what you're going to see Oklahoma do. The two targets that I want to talk about right now, and we've talked about him a little bit, Grant Bricks from the state of Iowa, top 200 national guy, according to the composite, top 75 national guy, the fifth best tackle, the number one player in the state of Iowa, a guy that is super athletic, 6'5 and a half, 280, you got to put on some weight, but Coach B, Coach Bill B, like I, you trust him to develop a guy like Grant Bricks, who in terms of raw traits, just has it. And then you go on the inside and get one of my favorite prospects in the 2024 class, or not get, but trending for Eddie Pierre Luis, a guy that from the state of Florida, it sounds like you're battling UCF out for him. This is a guy that you want to build an interior offensive lineman in the lab. Like that is what Eddie Pierre, Eddie Pierre Luis is 6'3, 335 pounds, that fire hydrant built. You see him on the track and field. He is. I don't know if you guys haven't seen the video. I think we mentioned it last time. This is a guy that flies on the track and field. And you're seeing him go up against guys who are my size. And I'll tell you that I am much smaller than him. And he's burning them, leaving them in the dust. This is a dude that's big, but a functional athlete. If you could add Grant Bricks, Eddie Pierre Louis into this class, you're suddenly looking at a top five class in the country. And again, what did we say all along? Going back to this class. It's going to be a little bit of a slow burn for the Sooners, right? There were a lot of teams that were kind of riding a ton of momentum in the summer. What did Oklahoma do? They stayed, they kind of stayed in the, in their lane, kept working on their top prospects, and they're starting to fall in place as we speak. And when Oklahoma keeps winning, as we expect them to do in this 2023 season and move into the SEC, like you're going to see recruiting just really ramp up. Brent Venables, we say it all the time, a guy that recruits want to go play for. He's a player's coach. He's a great relationship builder. He surrounded himself with elite recruiters as well. Perfect recipe. And you're seeing Oklahoma really get it done. Another massive get in Michael Boganowski. Wanted to hop on, talk about it a little bit. Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas. Again, if you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate all the Sooner fans for the support you all show. And we'll talk to you all later.